There are just a few things you need to do to keep your Harman pellet stove operating at its peak. Every time you load pellets into the hopper, take the opportunity to scrape the burn pot. Do this by turning the stove to a number one setting on the stove or temperature dial and allow the fire to reduce in size. Protect yourself by wearing heat resistant gloves. First, pull any ashes from in front of the fire and let them fall into the ash pan. Now, scrape the grate surface downward toward the auger. You don't want to scrape the fire out, just scrape under it. Any carbon deposits loosened at this time will be pushed out as new fuel is fed in. Tap on the burn pot a few times to clean ashes from the igniter element located beneath the grate surface. If the flame goes out during this process, close the door and let the fire get re-established. Reset your temperature dial after scraping to maintain your desired room temperature. Remove the ash pan and empty it. To do this, open the side doors. Release the spring latches on the right and left side of the ash pan. Slide the ash pan forward enough to lift with the center handle. Keep the ashes in a closed metal container away from any combustible materials until the ash is completely cooled. After burning approximately one ton of pellets, a more thorough cleaning is required to keep your stove running as efficiently as possible. To do this, first shut down the stove. When the stove has completely cooled and stopped running, it's now safe to clean. This may take up to an hour. Clean the heat exchanger with the scraper. Scrape the inside of the stove to remove fly ash, which is a fine residue left over from burning. The debris will fall into the ash pan. Scrape the burn pot and ensure that burn pot holes are free and clear of any debris or carbon. You can use a small piece of bent wire, an Allen wrench or similar tool to clean out the holes. Pay special attention to the lower corners next to the auger opening. Carbon deposits begin forming in this area. You may want to use a large flat screwdriver to remove all of the buildup. Scrape off and remove the flame guide for better access. Use a shop vac with a fine dust filter or ash vac to vacuum debris from this area. Clean the viewing glass. This should not be done while the stove is hot. Use a soft, non-synthetic cloth and either a vinegar and water mixture or a non-abrasive glass cleaner. Do not spray any liquids onto hot glass. Most times, just a dry cloth will work. Never use a hard or sharp object to scrape the glass. Access the burn pot cleanout cover through the ash pan door. Open the burn pot cleanout cover by loosening the two thumb screws. Clean the fly ash out of the burn pot. Tap firmly on the grate to clean the igniter element. Use a shop vac with a fine dust filter or ash vac to vacuum debris from this area. Replace the cover when you're finished and be sure the cleanout opening is sealed before tightening the thumb screws. Next, access the combustion blower by removing the ash pan. Remove the combustion blower cover by turning the latch. Slide the cover out of the slot to expose the combustion blower wheel and flue. Using a paintbrush, clean the blower wheel. Be careful not to bend the fan blades. Use a shop vac with a fine dust filter or ash vac to vacuum debris from this area. Clean the flue exit with a three or four inch flue brush, but be careful not to go in too far which could damage the exhaust sensing probe located right here. Vacuum all remaining ashes and residue from inside the stove. When you're finished, replace the blower cover and latch it. Replace the ash pan. Now, around the back of the stove, remove the side door panels by lifting upward. Loosen the screws with a 5 16 nut driver and remove the shielding. 
Do this to both sides of the stove. Remove the feeder cover by loosening the wing nut. Vacuum any pellet fines or small pieces from this area. And reinstall the cover, making sure that it seals all the way around. Tighten the wing nut finger tight and reinstall the rear shields. Again, this may not need to be done at every cleaning interval, so this first time will be your guide. Your stove is now ready to efficiently burn your next ton of pellets. Generally, after burning every ton of pellets, we recommend that you clean the entire venting system. Experience will help you judge whether this needs to be done after every ton or more or less frequently. The frequency of cleaning depends largely on the quality of the pellets. For your convenience, your local Harman dealer offers these professional maintenance services.